Love is not a theory. It is a practical life. If you practice love, you will not end with your confession. Action will follow your confession. When Jesus was arrested, one of his, you know, disciples carries what? His panga. Do you know what he did? One of the what? Was cut. Jesus he said, no, 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 not like this. Someone who is about to take your life, you, you feel for him. Meaning he came to introduce you to that life. It is not what you are going through, but what you are receiving from him. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. We thank God for his mercy and his favor that he has given us another day. Today is 16th June, 2024. Our viewers, Lusaka people, you are a blessing to this ministry. We thank God for you and also those who are watching us on YouTube and Facebook. We thank God for you within Zambia and beyond Zambia. Our brothers and sisters who used to be members of this church who have gone outside Zambia, continue watching your TV station. I realize that uh, when we talk about love and forgiveness, we just confess this word with our mouth. Our heart is still keeping the record which was there 20, 30 years ago. No one can benefit anything by keeping what? And forgiveness or by not loving your brother or your sister. And you cannot separate these two. Love and forgiveness are like twins. You cannot. I know that when we are preaching, sometimes we just, you know, go direct with the word love or forgiveness. But today, I want you to know this. You cannot separate love and forgiveness. Where there is forgiveness, know for sure that love is at work. I don't know why you can, you know, continue living in that life of hatred. Do you know that if you continue living that life of unforgiveness, hatred, jealous, envy, you become the enemy of Jesus. Because you are defeating his purpose. You are telling that your coming here on earth is nothing but useless. Because he is the reality and the means of what? Love and forgiveness. So if you cannot love and forgive, you are telling Jesus that Jesus, your death on the cross of Calvary is nothing but fun, which is not proper. We read the Bible every day, people of God. No one can, you know, understand your heart apart from you and your father in heaven. What made the world to be, you know, in war is lack of what? Love and forgiveness. If you cannot love and if you cannot forgive, know for sure that you are not living the life of Christ. You are living the life of this world. And when I say this world, I mean Satana cannot, you know, allow you to do the right thing in the eyes of God. Forgiveness and love is the way that carry Jesus. If you cannot forgive, then you are not for Jesus. You are not for what? For Jesus. So let's go to the book of... I think I will, I will try by all means to call you maybe in one or two, three, four books. We start with Matthew, the one that you know. Then we go to Corinthians. Then we go to John. First John. Listen to uh, this one. This is Matthew 5, verse 43. 
When it comes to the word of God, people of God, there's nothing odd. Everything is new according to the way you understand the Bible. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you. 45, that you may be children of your father in heaven. He causes his son to rise on the evil and the good and send the rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. 46, if you love those who love you, what reward will you get? And not even the tax collectors doing that. 47, if you greet only your own people, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. You were told before he arrived here on earth that love only your neighbor and hate your enemy. Jesus came to let you know that the life that you are living, you are not pleasing your creator. Why? Because no one can tell me that you have never committed any sin. There are sins that are known to the people who are very close to you and those who are not even known to anyone. But God in heaven knows all your sins. But the way you judge people because their sins are being exposed, you behave like you have never committed any sin. This is what now made Jesus to come and tell you this because at, if you look at God Almighty, we were enemies because of the life that we are living before Christ came to this life. And we are told that love only your neighbor and hate your enemy. But Jesus said, I tell you that, love your what? And do what? Pray for those who persecute you. Love your enemy and pray for those who do what? Who persecute you. What is the benefit of this word if you accept this word and apply this word to your life? No one can succeed without his enemy. For you to be a champion, there must be a opponent challenging you to say, no, you are not going to be a champion. If you kill your opponent, how are you going to be the champion? I mean, who is going to witness the success on that day? He said, pray for your enemy and pray for those who persecute you. There is a reward for you if you do that. People of God, stop pretending that you are accepting his word. And yet what you are calling inside your heart is not in line with his word. On Friday, one of my sister told me, she was crying to say, I, 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 I find it very difficult to forgive my, 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 my family because of what they did in the past. And this is the woman who is the mother now with I don't know how many children, three or four. You are keeping something, the thing which happened before you even become mature. Now you are a mother. What are you getting out of that? Because any action that you are taking people of God in this life must benefit your spiritual life. If your spiritual life cannot benefit your action, you are killing yourself but you keep on blaming others. Love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you. When you do that, you allow God to defend your case and fight your battle. Don't look at what happened. Don't look at what condition, the treatment you went through. As a child of God, you are representing God in whatever you are doing here on earth. If truly you are such a person, 
This is why love and forgive must be your life. And I want to stand there. Love and what? You cannot separate these two. Whether your husband, your wife, your children, your father offended you, your law as if you want to make it in this life. Follow the word of God. You cannot live outside his word. You cannot defeat his coming. No matter how powerful you may feel today, remember that it is only Jesus who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Love and forgive. Pray for those who oppose you. Who cannot agree with your idea? Who cannot agree with what you are doing? Pray for them. Don't wish them bad things. It's not Bible. You are there. What you have done, what your hand has done, no one knows but Jehovah God knows what you have done. Why he did not kill you when you were committing that sin? Why are you still alive today? His name is love. His name is forgiveness. This is why a wizard, a witch can, you know, be the next to a Christian, cultivating, planting maize. The same rain that is raining in that farm will rain in this farm. A criminal will be the next to you. The same rain that is running in your farm will rain in that criminal's what? farm. The harvest will be the same. He is the God of love. If we were to be like Jesus, there will be no killing in this world. There will be no what? Killing in this world. Jesus came to introduce his life to you so that the world can be at peace. But the problem is that we are relying so much on money. Money has taken over the position of God. The one who has got money cannot forgive the one who has no money. I will use my money to do this and that. Remember that there is life after this life. The Bible says that if you greet only your own people, what are you doing more than others? What are you doing more than others? God is love. Whether they abused you at your tender age, they left you at your tender age, you are still carrying these things. I find it very difficult to forgive. Okay, are you benefiting by keeping that long record? The answer is no. You are just taking back to that day when those things happened. No one is perfect. Only God himself. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? The Bible says that even tax collectors, they love each other. Even criminals, they love each other. Drunkards, they love each other. A Christian, a child of God, you love everyone, even those who hate you. Because you are representing God. Even those who are gossiping, those who are saying, no, that one is useless, that one is a fake, that one is what? It is not you to defend yourself. Let Jesus be the one to defend your case. Because you are representing him here on earth. 47. I have said this one. Listen to, uh, uh, let me just go directly. Yes, the Bible says that what are you doing more than others? Even pagans do that. Meaning, the people who are not even Christians, they know each other. They support each other. Birds of the same feather, they flock together. But for you, you love everyone. The love which God you not give you is unmeasurable love. Unconditioned love. Whether you hate me, you give me, I will love you. You say, no, what he's doing is not right. I will love you. 
If I say, oh, you see, you, you see, me too, I will see my own. Who is benefiting now? No one. Listen to verse 48. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. You cannot be perfect by yourself unless if you follow Jesus totally. Don't be deceived because of their people are saying, no, Mulenga, you are anointed. Mulenga, you are anointed. If Jesus cannot call me anointed, the name that you are giving me, you are just you're not deceiving me. In fact, you are destroying me. Forgiveness is not just a mere confession. It is the action of your heart. It is not enough for you to say, I have forgiven you. Let your heart be the one to act, even without confessing. The world will be at peace. The family will be at peace. And like a situation, of, you keep on saying, what they did, I, I will never forget. I will never forgive. Are you benefiting? Are you not making Satan to be on top of your destiny? Because the honor of unforgiveness and hatred is Satan. The honor of love and forgiveness is Jesus. Who are you following? Who do you believe? Who is your master? And what are you benefiting? Let me take you to the first Corinthians, second Corinthians. We all know this verse, chapter 5. Let me just go direct to verse 17. Please follow me. I'll be like clashing. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. When you become Christ's you know, follower or you believe in him, the person who was living in sin before you believe in Jesus is dead. The one who is here now is like Jesus himself. Is now appeared. The life that you are going to live, you live like Jesus. It's Bible. I'll prove to you. Listen to this again. Verse 18. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ. And he gave us the ministry of reconciliation. You cannot talk about reconciliation or forgiveness as long as you are not reconciled to God Almighty. You learn from him how to be reconciled to others. This word is coming from love. Love, forgiveness. Forgiveness, reconciliation. Where there is reconciliation from Jesus, the spirit of God is present to arrest that anger, that record you are using to say what they did in the past. Look at how many people who have gone in the name of this one offended me. We, have, we, have, we, we watch TV where there is war. The people who are saying this one offended me, they are not dying. Innocent people are the ones who are what? Dying. Because somebody offended you. God is the giver of life. And he gave you a contract to be here on earth for a while. If God were to say, okay, you'll be there permanently, you'll never die. Tell me how the situation will be here on earth. No one who even you know go to church. Everyone will be God himself on his own. He gave us this ministry of reconciliation. The other version said a task. Who can do that? A child of God. Not a child of God by a mere confession. No. There's something that I've learned in this life. Someone who cannot forgive. Or quick-tempered. They always, always destroy their image. The ministry of reconciliation came through Jesus. 
Are you there, people of God? Listen. This is 19. That God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ. Not counting people's what? Sin against them. Not counting sin. Because God is love. He did not look at what you have done. There are others who have killed innocent human beings. There are heroes that you celebrate here on earth. Who has killed a lot of people. Who have made people to be widowers and widows. Others to be orphans. But in the physical world, you celebrate them as healers. In heaven, they don't celebrate them as healers. This is why the standard of this world and the standard of the word of God is not the same. We celebrate physical achievements, physical greatness in heaven they don't celebrate such a thing. They only celebrate love, forgiveness, and reconciliation. God reconciled us through who? Jesus. Even those who are still, you know, drinking, smoking, placarding witchcraft, the table of reconciliation or forgiveness is there. This is why they are not going to die now. Unless if you choose to die in that, you know, darkness. Because the blood of Jesus is still there waiting for you to say, I have packed these things. I want to follow Christ. It is a permanent forgiveness from God. Except those who want to continue living a sinful what? Life. Na lelo pano so. Yesu achiri alelo lelo. Mulo pa wako chiri ule itika. Aba ipeke nyoku elela. Aba ipeke nyoku pepela abaluwa ni babo. Umulo pa wakua yesu wakula abalandila. Ifi mula ndati na vele lomu tima ulela ndati nsha elela. Muive pas ya ni mwamu kaya kuheo pa kulekelesha. Tachile plati balobo tamuwa elelewa kaya kuheo. Na mwamu inemu kaya sanga na bonze panga pamo. Mukala ipusha nyawa lea kuchechisha kuleta kunwati. Nsha kuelelele. Look at you. Are you telling me that Jesus came to die for nothing? Why do you want to lavish his death? Why do you want to reduce his death on the cross of Calvary like the things that you can do by yourself? Is it easy for you to sacrifice? This is a problem. If you cannot even give what is written in the Bible, you start debating. What more? Your heart. Who knows your heart? Can you sacrifice for the sake of your brother? The answer is no. You are failing to obey a simple scripture. Jesus came as a sacrifice. He paid that price. For you, nothing like your just your heart to say, Jesus, you are my Lord and my Savior. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Follow me. He did not count the sin. And he has committed, has to what? To the message of reconciliation. I'm still reading 19. B. And he has committed to us the ministry of what? Reconciliation. Now, take note of verse 20. We are therefore Christ ambassador. We are Christ what? Ambassador. We are representing the kingdom of peace within your family and society and the country at large. Stop confessing Jesus with your lips to deceive others. Marry your confession with your action. Love is not a theory. It is a practical life. If you placard his love, you will not end with your confession. Action will follow your confession. No, but I'm a pale and funny for Valanda, but I'm a very late more verela, Valandi that he had a woman gulu, in an shaipe, in an anguanger, a matin of where a wakwen de wufwire. Ah, how are you going to react to that one if it is not Jesus? That idiot, I forgive him, and he started saying rubbish. Okay, Akamona, Elon Shire, fire, 
Ishiri. Na ngumu wako mana ni mumake. Tiku pita kwa cha mwata lili ya mwishibana. Na musenda na Bible. Are you not ashamed? Are you not ashamed? And people see you carrying the Bible. Remember what happened to Jesus. When Jesus was arrested, one of his, you know, disciples carries what? His panga. You know what he did? One of the what? Was cut. Jesus he said, no, 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 not like this. Eh. You help your enemy who is about to take your life. Is he normal in the, on the physical side? Someone who is about to take your life. You, you feel for him. Meaning he came to introduce you to that life. It is not what you are going through, but what you are receiving from him. That is Christianity. Umuntu eshire mukukwipaya iwe bamusempo kuti kwati baba tinye because abasamba kwa mwana tapano mba tapali fya bible apani chipa ino la mwine fyo twai kala pachalo Jesus ever the fyo twai kala kumulu ifi kumulu twai kala mumutende twenda mukumfwanana inena tatana maka ya kwe twenda mukuleto mutende uko kuti waputulana alabwe ke shako they were shocked. They said, ah, we cannot continue following this man. You lose your... He doesn't understand these people. That is because you are representing the kingdom of peace. Don't just confess, you know, I have forgiven them. I, 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 Who are you deceiving? You carry a Bible. You are a leader in that church. You keep on, you know, saying bad things about your brother. You go to church, like we see our politician. Whenever they want our voice, they will start to know a patronizing what? Churches. To say no, to live in which lesser? Lesser, lesser, tepaya, lesser, tabi, catch me, pisa, pachibi, lesser, quenela, echo, aqua, tromutende. Bam, indo, she shone se pachalonga, shari, station. Gashari, fwa. But the children are stamba. Ebele Yesu ya pale milolela. Why are you deceiving yourself that you, you follow Christ? Look at your hand. Look at your hand. The work that you have done, helping Satan. You are Christ. What? Ambassador. Listen to this. Let me finish this one. Twenty. We are therefore. Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making his appeal through us, we implore you on Christ's behalf. Be reconciled to God. You start with God. Listen to 21. God made him who had no sin to be seen for us. So that in him we might become the righteous of God. You cannot become a righteous person without accepting the word from Jesus. You can confess Christ, but if you cannot accept his word, know for sure that you are deceiving yourself. Take note of these people of God. If you say you are a child of God in the presence of the multitude, your heart is telling you, remember the message I share with you, your conscience is telling that you are not a child of God. You are just telling these people for personal interest. Pray for your enemy and those who persecute you so that you may be the children of your father. Who is that father? God himself. But why are you pointing your finger to your brother because of one, one or two things or your sister will say, he did this, he did this, she did that. What about this wagon behind your back that you, you move with every day? Hmm? You are there. You are there. You are there. You are there. Is it normal? Is it normal? Hmm? 
God is love. If we were to demonstrate the love of God, this world would be a better place to live. Why killing, killing each other? Even those who are killing, they'll keep on deceiving you to say, no, let's have your win. Let's have your win. God doesn't kill. If you watch Tangari, me paya. You are just deceiving yourself. You know what you are doing. Make no mistake. Judge yourself. If you say, I am here for love, I am here to forgive. On the other hand, you are killing. Who are you deceiving? Yourself. Because you are not there for peace. Let me take you back to, I mean, to the book of Psalms as I conclude. The Psalms that you know. Because the way I read the Bible, first of all, I have to benefit more than anyone who is listening to me. This is Psalms 23. Let me read all of it so that you get the point. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in a green pasture. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. This is three. He guides me along with the light path for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your Lord and your staff, they comfort me. Here is the point in verse 5. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. You prepare what? In the presence of who? Your friends, your children, your enemy. Your first witness to see your success is the people you call enemy. It is that success that can make your enemy to believe that God Almighty is all. Because they fought you, they tried by all means to kill you, to do whatever, but at the end of the day, because the Lord is your shepherd, today they are witnessing a table. If you kill them or you let them go, who witnessed that day? How are they going to know your God? Mwelesa. Bonsi abalwa nibandi. Bebuka. It's a long prayer. Who be, who be the witness of your success? Babos bachira moku nchitato meti. Mwelesa nchito ipwe. Babos bari kwa tabana. And children are innocent. So you want the children to, you know, to suffer because of the collect of your boss? No. Say, Lord, long life to my bossy. Long life to my what? Long life to the woman who's going out with my husband. Can you pray that prayer? <laughs> Can you pray that prayer? No. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you, uh, in a boy singer, I kutia I said, I sang amulet to Kana. But look at Stephen. When they were stoning him to death, he looked up to heaven. He said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Anyone who is living according to the standard of this world, they don't know what they are doing. Whether educated or non-educated, they don't know what they are doing. This is why people are always regretting only in the life of Christ. He prepared a table in the presence of your what? Stop cursing your people. There are some of you who even curse your own children. When your daughter or your son is, you know, offended you, you start cursing them. What are you benefiting? Are you not extending that problem again? Hmm? Kneel down and say, Father, children is a blessing. It's a gift from you. You did not give me a problem, but a gift. Let me see a gift and a blessing through my children. God Almighty is there to come down. That is Christianity. If you keep on keeping wrong things, you die with depression. You die with stroke. Pray for those who persecute you. He will prepare a table in the presence of witches and even criminals, those who are opposing you, they will witness your success. God bless you.